Welcome back to another Grand Dokes Metallic edition of Underrated Metal Album Series here on Metal Bands Chronicles. And boy, do we got a classic for you today. A tremendous debut album for you guys today. From a Canadian trio, yes. And no, it's not Rush. I'm talking about the band Exciter and Heavy... Sorry about that. Heavy Metal Maniac. Oh yeah, man. Came out on January 14th, 1983 on Sarpel Records. Now, Sarpel Records, very well known back in the 80s for introducing the world to a lot of shred guitar players. I'm talking about players like Jason Becker, Marty Friedman, um, I believe Vinnie Moore, you know, so many other great freaking players, you know, but yes, <laughs> oh my God, what a freaking album. We're going to get right into it. Line up wise. Oh yeah, by the way, this album would be reissued by Megaforce Records too. But yeah, now this album predates Kill 'Em All, and this is definitely proto speed thrash metal right here, man. I mean, yeah, this is some pretty vicious shit for you know 1983 before Kill 'Em All would come out, you know, and Show No Mercy and all those other thrash debuts. Killing is my business. It's full metal, bonded by blood, you know, fill the fire, you get the drift, you get the fucking drift. But anyways, we're going to get right into this freaking album. Line up wise, you got Dan Biller on drums and lead vocals. Not very many bands have a drummer that also is the lead vocalist. You got Alan Johnson on bass. Yep. And you got John Ricky. On drums, or excuse me, not on drums, on guitars. See, I'm getting too damn excited here. Yeah, Alan Ricky on, or yeah, John Ricky on guitar. Yeah, John Ricky on guitars. Let's just get on the freaking review. All right, so the album opens up with Holocaust, the Holocaust, a very eerie, dark beginning to the album. You know. About a minute and 20 some odd seconds long. Then it builds into Stand Up and Fight. What a killer speed metal track, man. What an awesome track, man. This is definitely proto thrash right here, man. Just loud, fast, in your face. Like, imagine Motorhead even turned up more. That's what you get from this debut album by Cider, man. Very loud, very raw production. Buzzsaw guitar playing. Tremendous drumming. And killer shriek vocals by Dan Biller. And that high-pitched voice. Stand up and fight! You know, just killer shit. Heavy Metal Maniac is next. The title track on this debut album. Again, another killer, killer, solid freaking track. Of just pure speed and heaviness and aggression and rawness. Man, yeah. <laughs> heavy, heavy metal maniac, you know, man. Just killer, killer shit. But again, yeah, just a very raw, intense, you know, heavy metal track, you know. And that's pretty much all there is to say about that. Moving on, we slow it down a bit with, um,. Iron Dogs. Yes, Iron Dogs. Pretty doomy track, kind of like in the Black Sabbath style, I guess you would say. In the end, it gets pretty fast, you know. Yeah, not a bad track at all. I love Iron Dogs. Iron Dogs is a tremendous track, in my opinion. You know. Yeah, really, really cool stuff, too. Then we speed it up again with another track on here. It just kicks Maximum Ass, one of my favorites on this freaking album, Mistress of Evil. Kind of starts out with slow, doomy little 30-second rift. Then it gets real, pretty daggone fast. 
you know, like, you know, if you can imagine the new wave of British heavy metal turned up even more, you know, man, that's what you get out of Mistress of Evil, just furious awesomeness, man, in this track. Under Attack, oh man, this track's probably the fastest track on this freaking album. Straight up double bass, has a freaking motorhead feel to it. Yeah, man, just killer, killer stuff. And to me, yeah, Exciter could possibly be Canadian's motorhead, if you really think about it. Just with a power metal sounding vocalist, you know what I mean? Or a new wave of British heavy metal sounding vocalist. But yeah, Under Attack, just a killer fast double bass fueled track, man, of total fist pumping aggression, man. Rising of the Dead, again, another tremendous freaking track. Just killer, killer, killer stuff. It just, the pounding just keeps going on, man. The horns are up. The fist is high in the air, man. You know. Yeah, Rising of the Dead, another, another awesome track on here. Then we get Black Witch, the epic on here. Yes. Oh yeah, I should mention too, on Rising of the Dead, it kind of has like an Iron Maiden type of feel to it. Like near the end of the track, it really sounds like early Iron Maiden, like off of the self-titled album or Killers. You know, pretty cool stuff. But again, just louder and more raw sounding, you know. Alright, back to Black Witch. Oh my god, the epic of this freaking album. What a tremendous track, man. Pretty melodic, you know, pretty dark sounding. Definitely has an epic vibe to it. And then in the end of it, it just turns into full-blown speed metal, double bass, out the freaking wazoo, man. Just killer, killer stuff, man. Great vocals by Dan Biller. I mean, I've heard the re-recording of this track, too, where they make it a 10-minute long song. That verse, it's killer, too, the other vocalist, whose name I can't think of off the top of my head. But anyways, Blackwood, again, a highlight on this freaking album. Cry of the Banshee ends this freaking album. Wow, another killer, solid, heavy metal freaking track. A pure speed and aggression. Yes. Oh my god, what a killer track. What a great way to end this freaking debuted album. Now, this version I have has a bonus track called World War III. Pretty good track. You know, I'd have to say it's probably the weakest track on this on here, to be honest. But the ten original tracks on here, man. Holy crap. Is it ten? Yeah. Or no, it's nine tracks. Well, technically eight tracks. Alright, yeah, technically eight tracks because the opening track's just an in or, uh, intro to... Uh, stand up and fight anyways tremendous freaking album anything by exciter i would totally recommend especially their first three or four albums but yeah we're talking about heavy metal maniac definitely if you can find this buy it don't download it don't steal it don't spotify it support physical music and buy it if you can find it all right, guys, keep it metal and stay tuned for some more here on the underrated metal album series.